were up in the air, and then it got changed to, say, Brian Keselowski. I guess that got everybody's oh. attention in a, in a real hurry on our favorite uh, J-Ski yeah. site. But uh, the reason I, we wanted to talk to you is obviously you've been real close to the whole situation with – Mm-hmm. with Brian and the way things were, which really, you know, two years ago at, at Daytona was kind of the high, made the Daytona 500, and then it's just been struggle and struggle and struggle to get the sponsorship money and get to races. And, and we wanted to talk to you about that and, and how mm-hmm. difficult it is to, to put this team together and some of the struggles that you all face. Uh, it's extremely difficult. I mean, um, yeah, Daytona was a great, you know, high note, and, and it was a great way for me to, that was like my first day on the job was when we made the Daytona 500, so that was <laughs> great, you know. <laughs> I can't tell you what that feels like, but um, I can tell you what it feels like since then. It's it's tough, you know. Um, trying to, you know, make things work with anyone and everyone, any company that we come across and whatnot, and, you know, we, we only wanted to concentrate last year on the Cup Series, so... That's what we did, and we gave it our best shot, but with lack of sponsorship on that, you know, even though we tried to make so many races and, and they worked as hard as they did, and, I mean, I've seen it with my own eyes, um, it just wasn't enough, and, and there was a lot of times we just missed the races, and, and what really hurt was that we missed it not very much, you know, maybe like a tenth of a second or a couple of tenths. So that was pretty tough to do. Um, we didn't give up or anything like that. That's not why, you know, he moved down to North Carolina. That's not why I moved down to North Carolina. So, like, I'm giving up is not an option. But um, when you kind of use up your resources as much as you can and you try everything that you can possibly, you know, you kind of have to face the facts like, oh, boy, this is, this is not, you know, this is not going to work out maybe. But um, just when we thought that that was going to happen, we started Brian Kozlowski Motorsports at the beginning of this year. And um, we tried to do that with the Arca Series to get new drivers into the sport. I mean, Brian always liked work driving in the Arca Series. He did well there. Um, and we tried to get, you know, new drivers that wanted to get into the sport. We... we offered them at a you know, fairly decent price compared to some of the other teams that that's what they were looking for um, to do to do race and to race in the Arca series rather. But then again, you know, a lot of good you have know, a lot of great drivers out there and a lot of good drivers that, that want to do this and that you want them in your car, but again, lack of sponsorship on there and you know, so it's it's tough. I mean we did it with in Daytona with Sloan Henderson and that went you know, that went pretty well and, until she unfortunately got caught up in the big one. And um, there was no place for her to go. I mean, that was, she did a great job as far as everything that she she put into it. Um, but and then it was uh, say, um, yeah, Mobile, Alabama. Um, you know, Brian drove for a different team because he wanted to get back in the car one way or another. It didn't matter. And uh, Bubba Pollard actually used our number for for that race. So you know, we try to keep it going, but uh, kind of fell short a little bit this weekend um, for Salem and. Uh, and that, that, that kind of hurt. So that's where we're at right now. We, we really are trying to get things going, trying to make things work, but it's just there's nothing really right now out there. Well, so. I, could, I got the impression when I looked at, at Brian's Facebook page that there may have been a deal for Talladega that was close to being had and then kind of yeah. fell apart at the last minute. Uh, first yeah, of all, is that accurate? And, and you don't have to say yeah. who the deal was with, but, mm-hmm. but talk about how long – that process was going on to try and get that to happen and then all of a sudden it falls short oh it was you know it's it was tough it was really tough i mean disappointing to no end but um we were trying to work that one for i'd say at least six seven weeks and it was you know we were supposed to make plans to do things and we were getting things lined up in order and and just the, the sponsor you know kind of kind of was hesitant about i guess a couple things and and then it was, it was on, it was off, it was on, it was off. And it was like, well, you know, if you need us to do stuff, you know, to help out with this, you know, help it along, you know, we'll do it. And everything was, yeah, yeah, we're going home, we're going to do it. So they're still saying that, you know, they want to do it, they want to do it. But, you know, what can we do? We, you know, when you're at the mercy of, of somebody else who's going to be taking care of everything as far as, you know, being a sponsor on the car, you kind of have to cater to, to them as best you can. But then there comes a point where you have to say, okay, enough is enough. Are we going to do this or are we not? So... Um, I kind of leave that, that up to Brian. That is, you know, his call to make as far as everything goes. You know, I'm just the one that, you know, he tells me what to do, and then I'll, I'll get that done for him. But um, but he's kind of disappointed with everything. They're still saying that they want to do it, so we'll see if they can work it out. Hopefully they can. Um, it didn't work out for Salem. It's not going to work out for Talladega. But um, hopefully in the future, you know, we, maybe we can they can get their ducks in a row, and, and maybe we can do, actually do something with them. 
Well, like you said, uh, you you know Brian moved down to North Carolina. You moved down to North Carolina with with uh, expectations of of making something happen, and it's it's not working for you right now. So where does that put you? Where does that put Brian? You know, at at this point on May first, two thousand twelve, what where are you going? You know, what what do you see ahead? I guess is the way I'm. I'm going to the classified, <laughs> and so is Brian. <laughs> 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 you know, I mean, been there, done I hate, that. Jen. I hate to have to do it, but um, you know, I got to pay. We have rent to pay. We've got bills to pay. So I mean, we got to do what we got to do. Um, probably would love to get a job in in the racing racing realm and I've contacted a bunch of people that are in the sport and different marketing companies that are in the sport and and PR companies but you know unfortunately nobody's really hiring right now and that just that's kind of typical especially around this time of the year but um you know the good thing I think is that a lot of people do seem to know who I am in the sport and and I'm blessed for that I really am appreciative I'm grateful for that um that I've actually been able to do so much in such a short amount of time and I've done things that I didn't even expect that I would do, and, and I was able to, you know, share that with a bunch of people that I don't even know, you know, and, and they follow me, you know, like crazy. So, I mean, I'm really appreciative for all that, and I'm hoping that maybe that can help me, you know, get hooked up with another team if, that, if things don't work out with, with Brian. But, you know, definitely Brian and, and BKM is my first choice to, to stay with and, and work with because I enjoy it, you know. I get to do so many different things, um, everything from PR to pit crew, you know. And I, I got to go over the wall at uh, at sale um, at Mobile, so I mean, I never thought I would ever be able to do that, but I did, and it was great. I can't tell you what that was pretty cool. Um, so I don't know. I, I we're putting the resumes out there, and we'll see what we can get. But we're also still, you know, going to try to make everything work here. So nothing's well, really coming in right now, but we're still kind of really busy, you know. Yeah. Well, so, well, Charlie got to go over the home. over the wall as the gas man for our friend Brad Smith a couple of years ago up at MIS, mm-hmm. and uh, that's, it was it was definitely an experience, isn't it, Jen? Go over that yeah, wall and get probably. out there. That's yeah, a it's a blast. <laughs> yeah, it's a blast. Yeah. Well, right. I was kind of nervous, like, oh my god, I hope I don't screw up. I hope I don't screw oh. up. And then and then he came in, you know. And once you see the ball coming in, it's like, okay, this is it, you know. And they just did what I had to do, and then I did what they told me to do, and right. I did a, a decent job, they said, so I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's still pretty cool. It, it, you're nervous when yeah. it, before it happens. Yeah, it's a cool, cool thing. All right, well, we wish you the best yeah, of luck. we wish luck. you all the best. You know, uh, I don't know what the future holds for any of us, I guess, but, uh, you know, we all live the, the dream and try to continue to live that dream, mm-hmm. and, uh, you mm-hmm. know, best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll keep going. You know, we're not going to stop. It's just a detour. Yep. On the road, so absolutely, we'll, we'll get over it. All right, All right. So. Jen, Great Jen Calandrillo. All right, cool. Jen Calandrillo, thanks. NASCAR Jen. All right, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk. Uh, thanks for having me on, guys. Absolutely, right. we'll talk to you again soon. That is infield Jen. On, or infield Jen. Infield Jen. That's right. So. Uh, uh,